really poor and there there was no food for me to go and get. I grew up really poor and there there was no food for me to go and get. Some black dude with some gay closeted black dude was just telling me it's on you to go get food for yourself that nobody else was responsible to feed you. But that's a lie. Your parent is responsible for feeding you. Um that's, that's the responsibility of whoever is in charge of raising you. That's their responsibility. And if you're a kid and there's no one in this community that's willing to feed you, then you have to, uh, then you're going to go without food. So, um, yeah, so the idea is to make me look unattractive, right? To, to excuse any, the hatred they have or to make me look like an older, like a, like a really old generation of black people, right? You know, the appearance you get, you know how people, older black people use to look or you know how we change our appearances over time, right? As generations go on, we don't look the same way. We, for whatever reason, but we don't have the same old slave, slave, like a slave, uh, uh, like a black slave appearance anymore, um, we don't have that appearance anymore. So these white racist people are built technology to make someone who isn't gay look unattractive. So they decided to grow my nose for years so that right now, or as I got older, girls would be unattracted to my the size of my nose. And then you starve this person so that they don't have cheeks anymore. So they look starved. And their nose, the nose look bigger because of that. So this the the normal appearance you have from people is that their cheek their cheeks on their face, right? And uh, there's a way to use technology to keep the blood flow from somebody's face. Uh, uh, it's like uh, someone told me it's like squeezing a certain blood or limiting the amount of blood to somebody's face, like squeezing it, and it won't go there. So somebody figured out 30, 40, 50 years ago a way to a way to control, well, to hurt people or to remain as they are, to remain as racist as they are. Somebody figured that out, and they used technology to do it. So they put technology in bodies, in babies, before these kids would ever be able to stop them or say anything to them. And then they made sure that whoever they reported this to wouldn't be able to, wouldn't be able to do anything. So these people with... Uh, these people with, uh, I think it's the gay community. It's in the gay community. It only works in the gay community because people, would, kids would tell their parents. And if the parent found out that somebody in their family had this technology in their bodies and they, and they wanted they, their kids, they would be mad. And, and maybe there are people telling, people all across America telling that somebody put technology in their kids or their kids are telling that they're hearing these uh, somebody's talking to them all the time telling them to be gay or have sex with dudes or or or, or playing with their genitals and no one is reporting this no one is listening uh, or or maybe uh, or their stories are worse than mine and no one cares and no one does anything until after until after they are on the news and they're in prison or dead. So I think if you don't like this, there's somebody who put a put something in place to kill you, or to torture you, or to make you kill yourself. Or these people commit suicide. They tell people, no one listens, and then they they commit suicide. And I think I think that's what I think that's what people did or are doing. Um, I'm gonna keep telling. I'm going to keep telling as many people as I can that someone put technology in my body to 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 to, to antagonize people. And some girl, some girl named Daisy, uh, the celebrity Daisy, uh, 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 just told me that well, guys with big noses have big penises, and that's why we gave you a big nose so that if you turned out to not be gay. After all that we do to you, every girl would know you have a big penis. 
but that don't I don't even want a big penis. I don't care. I don't want one. I don't I I I I don't uh I don't want a big penis. I don't care about it. Uh uh it doesn't make a difference. It would not make a difference to me at what what size my penis was. So um uh, and it, I don't think it makes it really it makes a difference to anybody else because girls don't care about the size of your penis. And I've been telling these people who keep telling me they're going to grow my penis if I have anal sex with guys, um, they're going to grow my penis. But with technology, by I increasing the blood in my penis. Uh, but I, I, it, I told them it don't make a difference. The size of your penis does not matter. It's, it, what matters is what you do. I mean, who you are, like the person you are right in your dna right if girls are attracted to who you are your dna the dna is like how your brain's wired the way you think how the intelligence your physical abilities your your the the experiences like the things you like to do and how you want to live your life that's what makes you that's what makes you attractive to people it's not the size of your penis and there are dudes gay dudes who believe that the size of your penis determines how strong i mean how attractive you are to women um, and those guys are like gay, these are old gay dudes, right? These old gay dudes who believe that they can have, if their penis is larger and they force, like forcefully have sex with some woman, she'll like it because it feels good. They, they cry, they complain, they, they, they say that, they say scream no, but if your penis is big enough, she's lying to you and she really likes it. And that's what these gay dudes are telling me, that because their penises are so big, that there's no way a girl could say that she he raped her, and that's what uh, that's what these dudes are telling me. That's what these gay dudes are telling me. That they believe the larger your penis is, the unbelievable, the it's impossible for a woman to say that she was raped by you. And that's what they just told me. That's what they just told. Well, they've been telling me for years that you should be happy. Well, this technology is in your body because they're going to grow your penis. You should be happy. We should be, you should be happy about that. That's what these people are telling me. And they're getting mad. They're, apparently they're getting mad that I'm telling people that there is technology in my body. And that, that dude who just drove past me, mean mugged the hell out of me. The guy I just looked at, just mean mugged the hell out of me. Um, and it, they're mad that I'm just telling that there's technology in my body. And they, they believe that the larger your penis is, the larger um, it's impossible for a woman to say that it you raped her you can force yourself you can force her to have sex with you and she can't deny that you raped her or i mean she can't claim you raped her because it's impossible to prove i mean it's impossible that a guy with a penis that or a girl who feels that large of a penis could would complain about it it's it's it's, it's pleasure if they claim because there's too much pleasure involved that's what somebody just told me in my ear with some technology in my ear um he's talking to me he's saying that it's impossible to prove that a woman with with a penis that big, it's impossible for her to say that she was raped by you. And I told these people, um, I don't believe you. It's still rape because they and, and and this is why they believe that they believe it because uh, they could do it to a guy. Like the the guys can with technology, you can stimulate somebody by any body part, any with electrical signals. Right? They're electrocuting my penis right now right now to punish me for not being gay they, they call it a punishment because i choose not to be gay uh it's a uh, like uh like electrocuting my genitals and it's a it, it, it's the weakest point in a person's body right your genitals it's easy to easy to hurt easy to make somebody mad so these guys are telling me that by electrocuting wait 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 uh if they can make me make it feel good which it, it, it doesn't, but they say that it, they can. It is impossible. Then it, it means you can't claim it as it's not rape, because pleasure is impossible to say is uh, it's, it's impossible to claim is rape or something like that. They, they, that's what they're saying. These gay dudes say that if they can pleasure you, it's impossible to say that is rape. Um, and that's what I'm being told. And uh, I I just told. Um, they're telling me this in my ear right now. Uh, there is technology in my body I did not put in there. And I am telling you guys this right now. I am telling. I am telling or trying to tell. 
I think this is gay culture and this is gay technology. Uh, well, the technology was used to enforce gay culture, if you understand what I'm saying. So somebody who over two, three hundred years, well, a hundred years ago, or however long ago, found, decided that he wanted gay culture in, to enforce it, to make sure it works or it continues to work. So let's just say like 60 years ago, somebody figured out a way to do that. So that was like 1960s, 1950s. Somebody wanted to continue to use gay culture or to have gay, make sure gay culture existed longer or didn't go anywhere. So they invented technology to do it. And they, invent, they continued their beliefs. Their beliefs are that if you pleasure somebody, it's impossible to say for them to claim or tell you that it was rape. Because pleasure is a good, they think it's a, I don't know how to describe it, but they, I, I know whoever's watching this one viewer, I know you know what I'm talking about. That people believe that there's certain things you can do to somebody they can't say that was bad. They can't claim as a bad thing. And I just, uh, I just learned this. I'm just learning that uh, they're electrocuting the hell out of my genitals. Uh, um, I just learned this. Um, uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, and then if I have anal sex with dudes, they're telling me that they'll grow my penis uh, with the technology in my body. Um, I don't want it. I want it out. They're electrocuting, they're electrocuting my genitals pretty bad right now. Um, they, they say it's to get me to sexually assault somebody. And I think that's what people do. They say if you have sex with somebody, the feeling that we're giving you, using technology to give you, will go away. Well, the feeling that the electrical signals that we're sending to your body will go away. So it's like imagine someone electrocuting your genitals and then telling you that if you have sex with somebody, if you have sex with somebody, we will uh, stop electrocuting your genitals. And then this technology is in the everybody you meet, everybody you walk around. Well, not everybody. They make sure there are people around you at all times, right? So people who have nothing to do, people who who stay in ho like stay come from all across the country to live in hotels. Uh, uh, and, pay, and stay in hotels or people who happen to be in the city you're in. So they, they make sure that these people who have an hour, half hour, two hours, or three hours to, of nothing to do show up wherever you are, wherever the, whenever they think you're going to have sex. Whenever they think you're going to have sex, these people show up and act like, uh, and act like they just told me that they sent that dude around here to kill you. They just told me that. They just told me that they sent that dude around here to kill you. So, uh, they just, uh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was just saying. But they have people around you at all times. And those people might have technology in their bodies or not. But if you feel like having sex with somebody or it gets bad and you want to try to rape somebody or you, you want to try to have sex with somebody, they'll tell that person not to allow you to have sex with them. They will tell that person to not have sex with you using technology, right? Or it's just known that you can't have sex with that person or whatever the case may be. So they're, tr they're trying to stimulate or create a rapist. They believe that if you electrocute somebody's genitals enough and stop them from being able to have sex and tell them that if you do have sex, we will, we will stop electrocuting your genitals, uh, it's like you're trying to create a rapist. It's the recipe to create a rapist. And they, uh, they just started doing this to me because somebody, they said that on, on my own, when I grew up, I would grow up into a rapist. Yeah, I guess that's how the community feels me, find, uh, thought about me when I was a kid. They thought that when I grew up, I would grow up into a rapist because no, they wouldn't allow any girl to have sex with me unless I was gay, unless I chose to be gay. So I choose not to be gay. I still choose not to be gay. And they believe that over time that we, I would get, like I'm 31, they said that over time that would get tired, I would get tired of not having sex, right? I would get tired of not being able to have sex and I would rape somebody, right? They, 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 they said they're going to make it seem like every, the first time you try to have sex with somebody, 
it'll be like it'll be like day one. It's like they like they never tortured you. Like nothing's ever happened to you. Like you never you haven't been waiting at all to have sex with anybody. And so it'll be like the first day you could ever have like the first day you tried to have sex with somebody when you were 15 or 14 years old, right? And no one's going to feel like we ha they have to have sex with you because you've been tortured for years. And they said that uh, they're going to treat you like they're going to make you experience life like it's like that. So you have, you've been tortured for a while. You know you've been tortured for years that they've been electrocuting your genitals, playing with your ears, playing with your tongue, playing with your, 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 all of the things that make you who you are for years. And they said that they said that uh, they're going to make that girl or anyone else you talk to act like there's nothing wrong with you. That like you're just some dude on the street asking her to have sex with her. But you know at that time that you've been tortured or you're being electrocuted. Your genitals are being electrocuted. Your anus is being played with. Your ears, there are people talking to you in your ears. There are images flashing in front of your eyes. Um... And in your whole life, you're 31 years old, and your life is passing by. You're 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 not able to do anything in life, and that's what these people are telling me that they're going to tell. Uh, they're going to tell them to act like this is just some dude on the street asking you for, to have sex with him. But you on yeah, they're saying that you on the other hand feel differently. You might be desperate. You might be acting desperate. You might do something because you're desperate to get them to stop electrocuting your genitals. And you try to, you might sexually assault this person. Uh, and that's what these people are telling me. They said that I was supposed to on my oh, that's why they're electrocuting my genitals because I chose not to sexually assault anyone like three and a half years ago. So after I got out of prison, I chose not to commit crimes. Well, I didn't even commit crime to go to prison. The girls who sent me to prison, when I was in college, um, when I was in college, these girls who uh, kept trying to get me to be gay, uh, kept trying to get me to have anal sex with them. I mean, no, 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 fully trying to get me to have sex with them, 12 anal sex with them 12 years ago, right? So 12 years ago, I was in college, and these girls kept showing up to my apart my dorm room, or the girls who on campus would be willing to, uh, who would say yes to having sex with me, were were really trying, would show up, I would go wherever they wanted to go and have sex with them, right? And then when I, when I started to have sex with them, there was no, there would be no vagina. You know what I mean? There would be like a hole in their legs. Where the vagina is, you're supposed to feel like a vagina, but there wouldn't be. There wouldn't be a anything to feel. So they they decided. I mean, they were trying to get me to have anal sex with them, and and I think it's a psychology for it. So if a guy, if you don't feel any vagina while you're having sex, you the guys sometimes think about having anal sex just so that you can have some uh, feeling while you're having sex and not have sex with no feelings with no physical feeling you know what I mean like no physical like anything so there's nothing there so for like a year and a half I was kept picking up girls and there would be no vagina if you know what I mean and I think that's a way to tell a boy that he is gay they're telling me that's how people in the gay community tell boys that they have to be gay or to teach them that they have to be gay. So, uh, so yeah, they, they teach you that because they you don't have you don't have uh, because you can't have vaginal sex because you're gay, you need to have anal sex with these girls. And to and from there, you go from having anal sex with girls to anal sex with guys, and that's how they train somebody to be gay. They don't let them have vaginal sex, and the girls who show up to have vaginal sex make sure that their vaginas aren't like this, but are like this. And if you have a small penis, you'll never feel what her vagina feels like, and you'll go, you'll think about going to her anus. But that didn't work. So, uh, long story short, that didn't work. So for a year and a half, that was happening. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't say anything. Um, uh, and I just while they 
uh, as long as they let me have sex with them, I would. And then when a girl did, it, I didn't start having anal sex with her, she would stop me from having sex with her. So whatever I was doing, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like this and this and this and this and this. Uh, if that didn't get her to stop, and get me to stop, not having that physical feeling didn't get me to stop, she would tell me to stop. And I would. And then the girl would get dressed and walk out. But that didn't work. That, that, I wasn't getting the picture, right? I wasn't going towards the anal sex. Or I wasn't doing it. And so they decided to lie and say I raped one of these girls. And they uh, had me arrested. And then, I, and then put me in prison with dudes who were gay. So they believed if they could remove me from women, I would go to prison and have sex with dudes. Or these dudes in prison who were gay would convince me to have sex with them. You know, seven years in prison with no nobody to have sex with, uh, and only men to have sex with, you would be come out of prison gay. Uh, but I didn't have sex with dudes in prison. I chose not to. And they constantly, every single day, tried to have sex with me. They, I was sexually assaulted. Some, I was playing basketball in the county jail. Somebody grabbed my penis. I went up to shoot, uh, do a, uh, do a, uh, a lay. I think it's called a layup. And uh, 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 the dude grabbed my penis. And I, I did it again, and he grabbed my penis again. I did it again. He grabbed my penis again. And I told the out loud. I said, "Whoever is keep grabbing my penis." keep doing it and uh and there was a, a person there that was supposed to that hurt me everybody in that gym there's like at least 20 no, like 15 people in the gym who heard me say that uh and they were supposed to uh stop the game and figure out what just happened who was getting sexually assaulted whose penis was being grabbed there was a person there that it was her job to to make sure nobody was getting hurt being hurt in the gym and uh, so that was the first time I was sexually assaulted. I was being emasculated. I was being bullied. I was being harassed. I was being, a lot of bad things were happening to me while I was in the county jail. And when I went to prison, a lot more things were happening to me. So guys kept trying to have sex with me uh, all the time while I was in jail. And uh, uh, somebody's going to say, they're going to tell everybody you were jagging in, in jail. But I was jagging. Everybody was jagging. You, there's nothing else to do. You either have sex with dudes or you masturbate. Uh, I chose to masturbate for seven years. Um, so for seven years, I was being, you know, terrorized by gay dudes who were trying to have sex with me or because they didn't want me to leave prison. They refused to let me leave prison if I wasn't gay. There was no way I was going to leave prison and not be gay. And then when I got out of prison, the same things were happening. And so they thought that after all that gay terrorism, well, the gay harassment, sexual harassment, I would get out of prison and want to sexually assault somebody. But that didn't work. So two, three years after I got out of prison, I still was not raping anyone. And uh, they, decided to, uh, they decided to use technology, right? You electrocute their genitals, and you do what I, did, what I said earlier, right? You electrocute somebody's genitals, and you force them to, uh, and then you tell them to have sex with somebody to get you to stop. Or you start talking to them using technology in their ears uh, to get them to stop sexually assaulting. I mean, to start sexually assaulting somebody. Because you believe if the person isn't gay, he can't have sex with a woman. Because you want to. Honestly, it's because somebody who is gay wants to have sex with you. And they're doing that to me. And I am telling you this is happening and asking, well, trying to get somebody to help. I know you're like, you, you think this is impossible, right? This is, this is old. This is the stories, right? You probably heard these stories before how some gay dudes stop people from having sex. Some dude they want to have sex with from having sex. Or they bully. These, these grown, gay, rich men bully dudes who don't want to, who they want to have sex with, right? That's how you get some dude to have sex with you. And I think if you're watching this, you know it's true. You know that there are dudes who do this. And I'm asking whoever you are to, for help. And to get these people to stop electrocuting my genitals. To get this technology out of my body. I'm asking for help. And you're acting like 
You're not going to do anything. You haven't said anything. You haven't called. You haven't done anything at all. And I've been telling forever. I've been telling and telling for years. I've been telling for years. So I my, my I gotta go. Um, uh, I think I that I don't know. They're trying to tell me to sign off. Somebody, Scarlett Johansson is trying to get me to sign off. She is talking to me and she's flashing her gay her her, her ugly appearance in my eyes. And I know you know who Scarlett Johansson is. And I know you know she is gay. I know you know it. So there's a good chance that there's technology in this, my body and that this woman is trying to use to get me to be gay too because she feels like every dude should be gay. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, she, that's what she is doing. She is terrorizing my genitals and trying to force me to be gay. And now she feels like I'm threatening her. She's telling me that if I hear about this, if I heard about this, I would sue you. I would use everything I could to sue you. But then you're going to have to prove that what he is saying, Scarlett, you're going to have to prove, Scarlett, that what I am saying is a lie. And you are not using technology to terrorize me or to get me to be gay. You're going to have to prove it. So if you're watching or you ever hear about this, Scarlett, this way, because I know you're watching me right now. You're listening to me right now. If this video ever gets to you the, long, the, the other way, the, the, the normal way, I hope you try to prove I am lying to you or I am lying to this, the people who are watching this. It's, it's not going to be possible, Scarlett, because you, they're going to have to find or not find. They're going to have to not find the technology in my body or not believe what I am saying is possible and as long as somebody believes what I am saying is possible they're going to find the technology they're going to find the technology that can do this in his body so try it Scarlett you're going to find hundreds of thousands of people show up and say the same thing is happening to me. So try it, Scarlet. I'm gonna wait here until somebody uh, helps me, chooses to help me. I'm gonna keep posting any, every which any way I can about the things that these people are doing. And I think that's it.